Hey you guys, it's Josh. Um, so I'm currently at my house and give me a second, I'm trying to pull the thing up so this uh, phone might stay steady, sitting like this. So you're probably wondering, what the heck am I doing right now? You're probably wondering, why am I setting my phone up on the ground? Well, you're about to find out. Get my car keys out real quick. I gotta get out my uh, car key real quick so I can open this piece on the phone case so that the phone stands up properly. So, you guys are gonna get to see what I'm about to do real quick. This is also in reference to a few of you asking what the heck was I doing with an axe head. So, you can see right here, I got the old uh, camping stove out, which seems a little odd. What is a, what can that mean? Well, here's our axe head, and as you can see, there's a chunk of wood stuck in said axe head. Axe head's going on here, and we got a propane torch. We're going to ignite the wood inside and let it burn off. As you can see, it's hissing. those of you wondering why am I doing this instead of just pounding that chalk out the chalk the sliver would not come out of the axiom so give me a second All right, so as you can see right here, it's got a lot of smoke coming off of the sucker. And if you look inside, well, it's burning slowly. Um, so what we're trying to do, I'm gonna melt the uh, wood glue and the old wood inside because I couldn't ch I couldn't just hit it out for some reason. Needs a little more fire. It's got to actually ignite. So some of you probably wonder, why am I just doing this myself? Why not just buy a new axe head? Well, could easily do that. And as you can see right here, that thing is nice and smoky inside. Well, the reason I'm not going to just go and buy a new axe is because that axe head that you see sitting down there, probably close to 60 or 70 years old probably. I'm gonna clean it up and actually put a new handle in. Give me a second, I will go get the new handle. At our side is not lit at all. So, those of you wondering, here's our new handle. It's a hickory handle. It is 36 inches long. It is a full-size ax handle. This is the handle that's going on once I have that heated up properly and everything. <sighs> so for now, we get to burn that out. And it looks like it's actually burning properly. We're just going to ensure it's reignited properly. I want to make sure this thing burns. 
Would it be easier to assemble my fire pit and burn this? Yes, probably. Would it be this fun? No, it wouldn't. There we go. Now we got a nice even flame inside. As you can see right there, it has a nice little flame. Well, it's burning in there. I can see the heat. Yeah, you can see right there, the wood's actually burning. So this is step one. I am going to end up cleaning the rust off of this thing. I am going to properly put the new axe head on and I'm gonna videotape the whole thing for you guys. So this is part one. How many parts is this gonna have, you say? How annoyingly long is this gonna go? I don't know yet. I wish I knew. And with it being cold, I'm also gonna assemble the fire pit. So once the fire pit's actually assembled, we'll be able to, uh, I've got charcoal and stuff, and I've got some wood from a uh, tree limb fell down outside my house and I'm actually going to go and chop that up with the with a mini saw that I have I'm gonna chop that up and I am going to uh, actually have the fire pit up and running soon um, so this is what you guys are gonna be seeing me do for a little bit until uh, I have a few things arranged. Right now, we are going to finish melting that wood. And if you're wondering why is that wood stuck inside there so hard? It was done properly, as in making it a proper handle. <sighs> okay. it was made properly and by being made properly it's not going to fall apart but the wood glue inside is not going to come apart easy either I'm hoping doing this will also act as a slight temper when I put the new wood in that that handle will set perfectly. I did try to knock a few holes in it with the drill as you saw those holes inside. Unfortunately it did not work properly so I couldn't knock it out because the wood glue and I didn't have any dissolver so I decided to get a torch and burn it. I gotta show you guys this because this actually looks pretty cool. This is what it looks like from the top view. It's because there's holes drilled in the wood to allow airflow in while it's burning like this. And so it looks like I'm shooting a flame out the whole other side when really it's just burning. And this is a propane torch, so it's gonna do that. That's the torch actually. Go ahead and cut that off. I don't want to leave it on too long. Just long enough that that will get a good heat and will stay lit. So, some of you are probably wondering, why don't I just buy a new axe? I don't want to. I want to fix stuff. I like fixing things. So, that one's wood glue is so old, it didn't want to break loose, it didn't want to give. So, I'm hoping I can char it and then be able to actually use it. And also I'm going to sand it down, make it look clean and everything. And uh, 
gonna pretty much turn into a brand new axe, hopefully. Let's see what the inside looks like, though, right now. Yeah, it's burning. It's burning in there like it's supposed to. So, I'm gonna cut this video here for you guys. Um, let this thing burn overnight and uh, we'll, we'll do another video tomorrow. It is kind of late to be starting this. So it's probably gonna be a couple of videos to make this happen properly. Cause I'm also gonna have to support the phone somehow. Sorry, my fingers being in the way. I have to support the phone somehow so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing when I'm actually cutting the grime and everything off of there. Cause that thing is rusted over. And we're going to be fixing this axe. It will soon have a brand new hickory handle. Hopefully, maybe by the end of tomorrow. It might. I don't know yet. We'll give it one more blast real quick. I'm going to let it sit for a little while. Come back out and check it. And I might do another video once I do that. See you guys.